What's up, B2? Capital G here, checking out a brand new utility themed cyber support card coming out in the brand new structure deck Master Link. This is actually a very unique and interesting card by design because it's essentially a hand trap that can also activate from the graveyard. You don't see a lot of cards designed like this, and I think that it's uh, it's very intriguing. So its name is Profibit Snake. It's a level two uh, light attribute cyber site because you know basically everything in this structure deck is uh you know cyber is themed 500 attack and 1000 defense i've started to notice that a lot of the cybers monsters like not the link monsters they don't have very good stat lines i think it's because they're they're more for utility than they are to actually be you know like the damage of the decks i think that cybers as a, a pure type is more kind of built around the idea of using the monsters just to get their effects and then going into the actual cybers link monsters your deco talkers and etc etc all right so this guy has two Two effects and they're both hard once per turns. The first effect says at the start of the damage step in which your cyber slink monster and your opponent's monster battles you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard that is the cost return the opponent's monster to the hand the second effect says when a cyber monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard while this card is in the graveyard you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one level four or lower cyber monster from your graveyard that is all the cost add that monster to your hand very interesting I like the fact that both of those effects can be activated during the same turn and you have to keep in mind that you know both of these effects can activate during either player's turn because if your opponent's trying to ram into you you can obviously activate the first effect bounce their monster and then if your opponent's monster you know continues like they have another monster that attacks you end up using something old school i don't know shrink or forbidden lance or something like that you can activate the second effect as this card will be in the graveyard this is the definition of a, a card that's it's, it's okay i think that it's um it's pretty decent for what konami is trying to do with the card like i don't really know if we have any other hand traps that have any type of uh similar effects close to like grand mole that are used during the battle phase i'm talking about ones that activate in the hand you know we have so many different attack modifiers with like honest and blackwing collude and there are so many archetypes where their monsters can increase their attacks by discarding a card but this is like one of the first ones that i can think of well probably the first one where you actually affect your opponent its monster and you just straight up bounce it i think that that's actually pretty good again being able to be or being able to be used during both players of uh turns makes that obviously kind of nice i don't like the drawback not that you have to have a cyber's monster on the field i understand now but i don't like the drawback that it has to be a cyber's link monster that's actually doing the battling I say that because the cybers pool just really isn't that deep. I mean, yeah, there are a couple of obviously standout cards like uh, Firewall Dragon and Deco Talker, but a lot of the other cybers link monsters just they're nothing extraordinary. A lot of them, in my opinion, are high risk plays, and I don't think the reward is nearly as great as the risk. So I do like this effect. It's very unique, but it is kind of a shame that it does it doesn't just work with all cybers monsters. And then the second effect, which is uh, very similar to something like uh, the Warrior returning alive where if your monster actually just destroys something now see what's interesting is the second effect does not state that a cybers link monster has to run over a monster by battle this effect just says that a cybers monster has to run over a monster in battle i wonder why they did why did they do that why did they make it specifically with the first grand mole effect that it has to be a cybers link monster but then for the second effect it just has to be any cybers monster i like that much more because it's just it's easier to achieve obviously when you can just normal summon a lady debugger run over your opponent's random monster and then boom you get a monster back from your graveyard i think that this card having dual utility obviously it's nice i mean will this card actually see play uh well that just depends on cybers and how good their support gets in the future they've had like three structured decks so far hasn't really gotten them off the ground who knows if konami is just going to continue funneling um support to them but a card like this in my opinion is definitely a good card on face value i, I think that it has a lot of utility because it's not like when you're it's not like when you summon these big link monsters these cyber share opponents not going to attack them so i can see that grand mole effect being useful and then you'd like to think that throughout the duel at some point another cyber monster you have will run over a monster in battle and that just gives you a free plus one so yeah i think that this is actually a pretty good card even if it doesn't see play it just kind of falls in that category of a card that's really good but uh you know maybe it's just not like uh it's it's not in a good place for the meta or something like that but i think that it's definitely a good card on paper so 
Whatever you guys think of Prophet Bit Snake, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already. Turn on that notification bell for daily videos. I actually, I wish that they would give more archetypes, hand traps like this, hand traps that, you know, can activate from the hand and then do a little bit of something later in the graveyard. I'm actually shocked that you can activate both of those card effects in the same turn. Usually Konami doesn't let you do that, a la breakthrough skill and stuff.